Hello learners, in this video we are going to talk about how to solve numericals on diffraction of light. Diffraction is seen in case of light when light uh, come across a particular obstacle which is having very fine dimensions. How are the effects that you may see in the figure? Diffraction is possible when the diffracted light is having the path difference is equal to AC sin theta. Here, uh, that AC term is calculated with the help of uh, characteristics of a grating which is used for the diffraction of light. Basically, in order to get a diffraction of light, a diffraction grating is used. And diffraction grating is characterized with grating element, uh, the, which is nothing but A plus B. So, A plus B is the factor. And that we need to consider while having the um, while calculating the path difference so a plus b sin theta how to calculate a plus b that we are going to see so if that condition gets satisfied we may see the diffraction and for that purpose uh, the formula is modified as a plus b sin theta is equal to m lambda here the path difference is considered as m into lambda lambda is nothing but the wavelength of the light and m is integer uh, or we may say it is nothing but the order of spectrum which can be considered as 1, 2, 3 like this. Theta is the angle of diffraction uh, which may occur due to the bending of light. And a plus b as I have mentioned it is nothing but grating element uh, that can be calculated. Uh, with the fact that on diffraction grating in one centimeter area, how many lines are there? So basically, for a plus b formula is one upon uh, one centimeter divided by number of lines. So here, what example is provided? In this, uh, it is mentioned the first uh, order maximum of light. Uh, for light of wavelength 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter occurs at an angle of 20 degree when the light is incident normally on the grating. Calculate number of lines per centimeter. It is uh, Here it is asked to calculate number of lines per centimeter. First we need to see what are the terms that are provided here. So here you may see at first it is mentioned order is given. Okay. So given data n is equal to 1 order first order is mentioned over here lambda wavelength of light is provided which is nothing but 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter theta is provided which is nothing but 20 degree and it is asked to calculate lines per centimeter so formula that we may use over here is a plus b sin theta is equal to n lambda. First, we need to calculate uh, a plus b because theta is known, n is known, and lambda is known. From a plus b, we may calculate number of lines per centimeter. Here, we need to modify formula for a plus b, which is nothing but n lambda divided by sin theta. Now, put the values. So, a plus b is equal to 1, order is 1. Lambda is 6 into 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter and theta is 20 degree. So, we have taken here sin of 20 degree. So, by doing calculation for sin 20 degree, we may get the value 0 0.3420. So, that is given over here. So, if we do the calculations, then A plus B will be equal to 17.54 into 10 to the power minus 5 centimeter. Now, for lines per centimeter, as I have mentioned, if we calculate, if we take the value for A plus B, then it is nothing but 1 centimeter divided by number of lines. For lines of uh, lines per centimeter, we need to reciprocate the term. So, lines per centimeter is equal to 1 divided by A plus B. Keep this in mind. So, if we take the reciprocal of the A plus B, which is nothing but 17.54 into 10 to the power minus 5, then we will have the values lines per centimeter is equal to 0 0.05701. By rearranging the terms, we will get there are 
5701 lines per centimeter on the given grading in order to get the required result. So this is the procedure with which we may solve the numerical problems on diffraction grading. Thank you for your patient listening.